It is March 14, 2018. This is the Watchman News, and I'm Mike Callahan. Once again, uh, we're back. I'm going to scream, ban knives, ban knives. We need to close up the knife show loophole. Yes, the knife show loophole. We need to close that. Um, Just like we need to register all people intending to stab other individuals. So if you're intending to stab another individual, if you would please go register first, please, that would be much appreciated. We plan on putting signs up everywhere. So, you know, there will be no knives allowed, no knives allowed anywhere. We're going to put up those signs. We're going to expect you to respect those signs. Anyway, until then, I guess we have to put up with this. Because if they had no knife signs out, this would not have been a happen. This would not have happened. If they, if they would have closed that, that knife show loophole, this couldn't have happened. Absolutely could not have happened. Folks, I, I'm, I'm shedding light on a sad story. Another sad story. But one that we really need to pay attention to. Because of many, many reasons. Let me go ahead and, and get into the article. Jupiter teen stabbed boys and woman at sleepover because of religious beliefs, Chief says. A Jupiter teenager said his Muslim faith led him to fatally stab a boy on his 13th birthday and injure, injure two others at a sleepover Sunday night in Ballins Isles Country Club, Palm Beach Gardens, police said during a 2 p.m. news conference. Corey Johnson, 17, was arrested Monday after he reportedly confessed to stabbing the three people while he spent the night at a friend's home in the gated community off PGA Boulevard. He faces one murder and two attempted murder charges in the stabbings. The FBI also is investigating the attacks. Also Tuesday, Judge Delilah H. Weiss ordered Johnson be held in a juvenile detention center while a grand jury decides whether to charge him as an adult in the killing. Friends and family of the victims packed the juvenile courtroom Tuesday afternoon for the brief hearing. Johnson, who t- um, who police said recently withdrew from the William T. Dyer uh, High School in Palm Beach Gardens, told authorities he woke up at about 4 a.m., Monday at his friend Kyle Bancroft's home. He decided to kill Kyle's mother, Elaine Simon, Kyle's brother, Dane, 13, and Dane's friend, Giovanni Sierra, 13, while they slept, he said. Dane reportedly had made fun of Johnson's Islamic faith, the teen said. According to the police report, Giovanni Sierra, who turned 13 on Monday, referred to the celebrities as gods, Johnson said. That upset him because it is contrary to the Islamic faith to idolize others as a god, he said. Johnson and Kyle watched violent jihadist videos Sunday night. They said Johnson stabbed Giovanni Sierra and slit his throat with a knife and had brought with him uh, he had brought with him to the house. Johnson said he read the Quran before going to the house. He turned to uh, the Muslim holy book to give him courage to carry out his intentions, according to an arrest report. American Islamic leaders have repeatedly condemned expressions of their faith, the second largest in the world after Christianity, that involve violence and terrorism, especially since the 9-11 attacks on 2001. Let me read that again. American Islamic leaders have repeatedly condemned expressions of their faith, the second largest in the world after Christianity, that involve violence and terrorism, especially since September 11th, 2001. So here's the thing. Let me finish up here. Uh, Shortly before 6 a.m. Monday, Simon, a family law attorney based in Palm Beach Gardens, Heard what sounded like Giovanni Sierra, uh, Sierra, sorry, moaning, she went upstairs to investigate. As Simon walked to the top of the stairs, Johnson lunged at her with a knife and stabbed her. She told city police she'd known the teen for a decade. Authorities said she was uh, stabbed at least a dozen times and fell down the stairs. Dane ran to protect his mother. He was stabbed more than two dozen times, police said. Someone ran to a neighbor's home and called 911. Simon and Dane were rushed to a trauma hospital for their injuries. Kyle was not hurt. 
A spokesman for the St. Mary's Medical Center said Tuesday that Simon was in good condition. He said he could not comment on Dane's condition because he is a minor. Johnson barricaded himself in a room when police arrived. He was taken into custody about 8 a.m. by the city SWAT team. Giovanni Sierra was found dead in the home. Interim Chief Clint Shannon said Jupiter Police, Palm Beach County School District Police, and FBI previously investigated Johnson for alleged violent tendencies that they received through intelligence gathering in the northern part of the county. Let me repeat this one more time. Interim Chief Clint Shannon said Jupiter Police, Palm Beach County School District Police, and the FBI previously investigated Johnson for alleged violent tendencies that they received through the intelligence gathering in the northern part of the county. Rewind that and listen to it again if you need to. Shannon said Palm Beach Gardens' only previous encounter with Johnson occurred at 3 a.m. February 28th when he and four other juveniles were stopped on Holly Drive just east of Military Trail. The juveniles were released into the custody of their parents. Johnson was in the company of Kyle and Dane ba- uh, Bancroft, Shannon said. Dane and Giovanni Sia were 7th graders at Watson B. Duncan Middle School in Palm Beach Gardens, according to the officials. Principal Philip D. Amico notified parents of the deaths with the recorded call Tuesday morning. Your students may have heard some tragic news via social media regarding one of their fellow students who was fatally wounded in an incident at a private residence. Another student was injured. Police are still investigating the incident and we have no information about the case. However, we have no reason to believe it was related to anything involving the school, D'Amico said in the call. D'Amico added that Duncan will have counselors available to help students, teachers, and staff. Local Islamic organizations said they were unfamiliar with Johnson. Wilfredo Ruiz, communications director for the Council on American Islamic Relations in Florida, said from Miami that officials of the mosque told him they do not recall seeing the boy or knowing of him. A person who answered the phone at the Islamic Center of Palm Beach in North Palm Beach said he did not recognize the name, calls to the Muslim community of Palm Beach County Mosque in West Palm Beach were not returned. This is the second reported homicide in Palm Beach Gardens in 2018 and the second to touch Bollins Isles. Alan J. Abrahamson, a 71-year-old Bollins Isles homeowner, was found dead early January 25th near a sidewalk by the intersection of PGA and Central Boulevards northeast of the community. Police have not made an arrest in his death. So very, very interesting stuff. I, I wanted to point out, though, uh, that nobody, even in the Muslim community, uh, is aware of this person, okay? Nobody is even aware of this person. Second thing I want to note, second thing I want to note, he was investigated, investigated by the FBI. Isn't there uh, an insane coincidence now where people that um, are involved, uh, are investigated by the FBI, are involved in some type of particular event, and all of a sudden, right, they're of a Muslim faith, Islamic faith, right? Hmm. It's time to think, folks. We're being jaded from the top all the way down to the bottom. We're being jaded. They're doing a good job of it.